Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the awesome cast number 95. I'm Sorg here in the studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we got a whole bunch of people in here. It's Lady Day at the awesome cast, and uh, we'll be around that. Just in off a of plane is Rob De La Creta. How you doing? Yay, Hello. we're kicking off Lady Day with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Mike. Thanks for that. Great lead in. Um, hang on. That's where you talk. say something. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Was, How you doing? Where did I you come from? Been. Where you been? Let me give you the play-by-play of what just happened here. <laughs> <laughs> so you introduced me after Lady Day. And then at some point, I had opened uh, a Tumblr dedicated to um, girls who ride bikes. And <laughs> Happy Lady Day! And started playing that was related to how to ride a bike in high heels. And I had to figure out where the audio was coming from. Uh, it was also appropriate. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just got off a plane in from Chicago like 45 minutes ago or something. Um, and before that, I was, well, before that, I was in Pittsburgh for two days. Before that, I was in San Diego for nine days. Before that, I was in Austin for seven days or something like that. And now I'm home. I'm home for the for the foreseeable future. Nice. Nice. As far as I know, which is fantastic. I the only work I have to do, quote unquote, uh, in like that I know I have to do is the uh, second week of April. I have to deinstall the Teeny Harris exhibit at the Carnegie Museum of Art. And Besides that, that's not I'm bad. just gonna sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm just like I don't know what to do with myself. Though. Catch up on sleep from last nice. month. <laughs> nice. Also with us as usual is Chachi of InsertCoinToBegin.com. Hey. Yeah, but you can't go there. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, our server has been having some troubles with the raid array, and, uh, and that's yeah. putting it cleanly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, also, Chachi says dot net, and the former Chachi says and Chachi plays like the shirt says. And that's all he's got, apparently. Also joining us, and Brian's over there somewhere, too. Yes, I'm just the laugh track. Yes, <laughs> he's the audience, so. And joining us on the couch is... Wait, where are they at? There go. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's that's me. Oh. I'm not. There we go. There Missy we Sorg joins us again, wife of the me. And, uh, wife of the me? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm... Well, you're usually the wife I'm, of the I'm show on the other one, so more things than just you're also the, the one of the uh, along with a few of the rest of us, uh, uh, one of the lead organizers for Pod Camp Pittsburgh for the last few years, uh, and and other stuff. The maker of noms and maker of noms. Although tonight I'm not the maker of noms. The, I the made noms, noms tonight. I did. Yes. yes. We have we have brownies in the studio. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> <laughs> and the published evil scientist oh, Jen How. That's great. I'm good. <laughs> Wife of the Brian. You need to point out. Who's Actually, going? Brian is the husband of the Jen. Oh. That's Ooh. how that works. Snap. That's, <laughs> that's going on his title next time. <laughs> Beat down. I'm okay with my situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, like I said, hey, you know, people said we never get. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. She's behind me. She's hiding behind me. Christina <laughs> Hunger, who is not a friend of Canada. There's so many people. There's so many people. Thanks, Sork. Thanks. <laughs> I love the look she just had on her face when, when you realized and you pointed out that you had forgotten her. You could have just well, like, I, I, I forgot her. she was back there until I saw her in the shot, so. Oh, There's so many people. I'm sorry. You're really not helping your case here. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I, how you doing? I'm good. Hanging That's... in there, tuning in from home, getting forgotten. You know. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. She's at Chick Chris on uh, on the Twitters. So um, just not used to having so many ladies around. Yeah, yeah. It was, I'm not used to having this many guests on this show. It's one thing I have it on the wrestling show, but this, it's throwing me a little bit here. Uh, so, uh, anyways, hey, this is awesome cast where we got uh, talk tech and we geek out a bit. Uh, we we are recording now live Tuesdays at 7 p.m. at live.sorgatronmedia.com if you want to join this craziness. Tweet us uh, at awesomecast. You can also check out awesomecast.com for all the past episodes and comment on anything. Uh, and check out episodes as we post them on video and audio. Contact at awesomecast.com for any commentary or anything else you want to drop us. Uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, the Roku, Blip TV, Stitcher, YouTube, and 
more, not that service. Um, and let us know. Uh, follow us, tag at AC95 uh, for this episode if you have any comments on Twitter or anything like that. And we do like to hear from you guys. Uh, so let's get right into it. Now, since it's Ladies' Day, I let Missy do the, the, some of the stories, most of the stories for today. So, oh, sure. Blame it on me. So, because we wanted something for the ladies. So, <laughs> well, the, the unfortunate thing is that there's a lack of lady news in tech that we're finding. Okay. Or at least that's what I found today. Okay. Um, like the the one thing that we do have tagged in here, and I guess this is where we can start, is uh, why aren't more girls geek? There was a Huffington Post article from a year ago. Yeah, that's even old. I couldn't find anything more recent. Yeah, and that, that's the same problem that I was running up against. Mm-hmm. Well, so, I feel like it's a conversation that pops up a lot, but it's also like, I wouldn't necessarily say that 90% of the stories on the show are like solidly dude related. We're not like, this guy at Facebook did a thing. It's more like, this Facebook did a thing. <laughs> that's true. But the guy just happens to be a guy for Facebook. Well, and, and, and this article points out one of the biggest faces for this. I would like to Marissa point out, Meyer. before we get started oh. on actual stories, I'd like to point out that it's the women on the show who are making this a sexist conversation. Yeah, yeah that's intending to make it a sexist conversation. It just happens to be that it's a sexist. It's a good question. I, I feel like we've had this talk with Cindy. I don't know if we've had it on the show or off air or something like that. I think it's been primarily off air. But I, I, I think I, I so. Because I mean, we, well, well, the conversation goes on because we, you know, how many women, techie women mm-hmm. are within our circles. I mean, we have, you know, th- to bring them in on the show, you know. And that's one of the reasons, mm-hmm. like, when we seek out guests, we don't find too many mm-hmm. entrepreneurs that are women. You know, uh, there, there's some like, uh, 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 I think Rebecca from iTwixy, of course. Um, and uh, and that's that's all that really comes to mind right now. And, and of course, uh, you know, Cindy Klosky does, does big, big design. She's an entrepreneur as well. Uh, but, you know, uh, and, you know yeah, still tech, much like a lot of science stuff, seems to be a guy's field. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Women are supposed to be secretaries and that sort of stuff, drug reps. And- <laughs> well, I'm not, first of all, I'm not a drug rep. But uh, I can. No, you are. I'm kicking things. I can. Evil scientist. I uh, I can tell you because I am in the scientific industry. Um, there actually are more and more women getting into biology, chemistry, um, those kind of sciences. Mm-hmm. At least that I see that I encounter on a daily basis. I, I definitely encounter more female PIs. What? Um, which is a principal investigator, uh, who actually get the grants and, and drive the research. Um than I did even just a few years ago. So you said P.I. and I was thinking like Magnum P.I. Oh no. Oh, I was too. I was getting really excited about guns and stuff. No, no, no. You know, Magnum P.I.s. <laughs> it's all about the mustache, man. Oh, and those ball shorts. Yes. Oh, can you say that? <laughs> I think we can say ball shorts. Too late now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can. Right. If, if Rob is showing his bum to everybody... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you just walked away from the conversation. I see. Um. And that, I mean, that also kind of ties into is why all why are all the mm. stupid little gadgets for girls pink? I mean, I mm-hmm. hate uh, pink. With a there was passion. actually a conversation came up uh, recently was, about there was like a, there was like yes. a, an Android phone that came up, and it actually yeah. had some pretty cool features, but it was pink. And That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would carry a pink phone. Really? Okay, yes. so one out of three ladies would carry a pink phone. <laughs> I don't even buy pink things for other people. That yeah, is how Jen much I pink. hate the color pink. Oh, Missy, you're pretty anti-pink. I am rather anti-pink, yes. So so we didn't get you a pink Wiimote. And I was really glad about that, because if you had, I would have thrown at you. She would have. I totally would have. That's Rob, a hazard. Rob loves the color pink. I do. I'm all about it. that does bring up the conversation that was being had on twitter not technology exactly but about pink legos being marketed for girls and why can't girls just use regular, regular legos. colored legos and even though i'm a pink supporter i uh i kind of agree with that oh yeah and it, it also uh it showed the ad that legos had back in probably like the 70s or the 80s or something and it just had a picture of a girl playing with, like, a whole box of regular colored Legos. And, like, the question under the ad was, like, why can't we do this? Mm-hmm. 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 True. I like that. Yes. Because parents will go out and buy pink Legos for their children. Not That's me. That's why. All right. Can, can, can we get off the pink Lego concept? Because, like, Jen's getting stabby over here. 
<laughs> so this Sorry, is my fault. I didn't create the pink Legos. I understand this, but yeah. So, so back to the Huffington Post. You know, article. actually, there was a recent. Uh, I, I was watching an interview with with. <laughs> well, you know, this, this is, goes along with it. Oh, okay. I, I was watching an interview on Triangulation with uh, the creator of Task Rabbit. Um, and she was, she was a programmer with, uh, IBM and, and talked about how, uh, basically she was a big math nut, apparently. And basically she attributed that to going to a all girls school where, you know, where supposedly, you know, women are put down in the math field. Um, I went to an all girls school, actually an all girl high school, mm -hmm. Catholic, no less. And do you think that, that <laughs> <laughs> and, and do you think that helped you like stay in the, with the sciences? Um, I don't know. I had a very odd perspective because I was raised by my dad. So <laughs> I lived with my dad. I went to an all girls school. Um, I don't know. I think I'm very analytical and I was geared towards the sciences from an early age. And I think that's just the way I was built. I don't know that it necessarily had anything to do with my schooling. Mm -hmm. Although I did take extra math and science classes. They made that available to me. Definitely. And my chemistry teacher was a chemical engineer, so that was really helpful. And it felt like to me, like it, it, in my schooling, it felt like it was the girls that were excelling mm -hmm. in those in those fields. And maybe just my and uh, public school, of course. But I don't know. <coughs> so moving on. All right. So that that I guess takes care of that little. I was going to type up some stories well, for the Jen, site. But, Jen kind uh, of mentioned um... under her breath a, a couple minutes ago about uh, draw something, but, but she was just going to go ahead and do draw something. <laughs> that I guess could take us to our next non necessarily girl related thing. Uh, Zynga snaps up draw something creator OMG Pop for one eighty hundred and eighty million dollars, maybe now, more from reports. From reports, I okay. confirm reports of like two ten, maybe it's oh, one hundred and eighty wow. million dollars cash, and the rest is in stock. Okay, so... There we go. And now, all of us here in this room, I think, at least to some degree... I don't know, Rob, have you, Rob, have, you, you Rob, have you had time to draw something? I was the one who brought it into the conversation. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Rob. Um, yeah, it's crazy addictive. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Zynga wants it because it's crazy addictive, like every other freaking Zynga game that's out there. Well, and the other thing, too, is um, the... <laughs> they could have bought it, or or if they rejected it, they could have just tiny towered this thing and made their own. And, and looking at OMG, have you has anybody looked at OMG Pop's website lately? No. To see what else they did. This really? is. No. I know they did a ton of stuff. They have like thirty five games. Uh, a lot of them. Uh, there's only like four iOS based games. The rest are like on their website. And mm -hmm. uh, and apparently these guys were like, if draw something didn't hit as quick yeah, as it they did, were done. they were done. They had like a few thousand dollars in 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 the bank for for operating costs, and they were about done. Yeah, that, that's so. why. They yeah, sold. they're saying until recently, um, they only had twenty million registered users for its entire roster of games. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these bigger games. I mean, you can get twenty million for you know one small game, let so alone they, their entire They really roster. lucked out here. They well, mean, this, oh, absolutely. The CEO was asked why they sold. Mm -hmm. Because with the success of Draw Something, they could have easily stayed in business for a while. Yeah. But he said, no, we're done. <laughs> Tapping out. Yep. Here we go. Here they we said, go. They, because of, like you said, they were done if Draw Something didn't take off. Mm -hmm. So they said that they didn't ever want to be in that situation again. Well, and that's exactly it. I mean, so they had this one thing hit, there's no guarantee that they're going to have another thing hit. Oh, come on. Everyone knows the street is going to be the, its next. Well, now, what's the street? You've been telling me about this. Hey, um, you, you've been reporting about it over on Instagram, according to begin. <laughs> uh, coming out sometime this week, actually, uh, OMG Pop, now Zynga, has a game coming out that's Farmville for Gangsters. <laughs> it's called The Street. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I wish this was a joke. It's and not a joke. To it? And... They they developed the game in association with Wu Tang Clan, and members of the Wu Tang Clan are <laughs> characters in the game. Killer bees. <laughs> so that is going to be out sometime this week. This week, yes, it's Excellent. supposed to be out this week. Excellent. So, move over Farmville. Your ass is about to be taken to the street. <laughs> 
or something. And, 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 and that's probably something that is because of their success. Because, I mean, what, you think they were talking to Wu-Tang Camp Clan before Draw Something? Yes. They were? They actually? were. Actually? Okay. Yeah, this game was, that was... Oh, maybe that was their last ditch effort. Was <laughs> this if, game had been in development this hadn't for a worked while. Out. So... Yeah, if it's releasing next week, it had to have been in development for a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that explains why Wu-Tang is a word of choice in Draw Something. It yes. is. It is. It's, it's weird because they, they do have a lot of rappers in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's kind of weird. How, how do you draw a rapper? Hey, I drew a fantastic Wu-Tang clan, actually. Did the person guess it? Yes, he did. Was I think it was for Fuzzwad. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> no, she drew uh, Jay-Z for me, and I got that one right. And she smiles. <laughs> It was awesome. Um, and, and upgrades are coming to that. I, I got an email earlier this week. You will be able to tweet and Facebook your your pictures. Thank God. I've been looking forward to that because because, because like they're gone. And if I you didn't screen cap easy. them, they're gone. There, it's uh, it, it's I been needed. I can't screen cap. They're, they're pretty crazy. You can't screen cap on Android. No. Wow. It's not, uh, it's not you can't eye. screen cap on the iTouch either. And I know you all hate it when I say iTouch. So iTouch. Oh God, that cuts me deep. <laughs> iTouch. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, what are you touching? <laughs> yeah, but really the nice thing about having it on an iPod on touch iPod is though. that I use my phone to Not take pictures. The, no, mine's maybe two years old, and no, I don't believe you can. You should be able to. It's I'm pretty, maybe every, I just I'm can't. pretty sure oh, everything has been called an iPod like since the iPhone. Um, really? Yeah. Form factor, yeah. How might one take a screen cap? Have, have you? <laughs> you hold the home button and press the lock button. Oh. Well, I'll try that and report back. Okay. <laughs> you know, John brought up a good point. What's that? How have the makers of Pictionary or but Scrabble have, not sued? I only have one button. Because, because it's not called button. Pictionary, it's not called that's Scrabble, and it operates under the... And I have the power button. So yeah, it's... That's, that's oh, it is... So it, it, there's um, no... Um, do this together. <laughs> <laughs> getting a live tutorial <laughs> going on here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm teaching Jen. That's fine. <laughs> For so the same reason that Words with Friends has not gotten trouble from Scrabble. Yeah, well, I guess they ha- they haven't patented games like that because I-, I feel like that would have been. A- they have patented games like that, but that's where the rules change a little bit. If you compare okay. the rules side by side for each game, they're slightly different, so it makes it a different game. And, so as yeah. long as you call okay. it the same thing and it doesn't look like that thing, you're totally fine. And you really can't, you really can't, you know, we'll get past like, you know just drawing something on a screen like that in a game, there's a lot of different formats to it. You mm-hmm. have a star system, they have so many letters. So Look at the camera. This was John's question. I'm looking at I, I, I'm looking at the chat room. Okay. And you. You're the video game guy. I was reading the the chat room. That's fine. Thank you. Here at Awesome Cast, we value our fans. Yes we do. Um but yeah, so so drawing something. Uh, in the meantime, Angry Bird Space has has kept me from uh, uh, from draw something. <clears throat> oh, there's another game that's kept you from draw something. There's another one, Shoot Many Robots, who we previewed here on the show. It's been pretty awesome. Um, although th- you know, this is a story that came up this week, and Chachi, I wanted to I wanted to submit to you since you're the resident Android user here. I think. Uh, what, well, I have an you Android. Guys, yeah. You guys were too. Um, th- there was a story that came out that that uh, like that. <laughs> that if you use the like games uh, like like say Angry Birds, of course, is ad based on the Android devices. That it uses more CPU because you're always pulling down ads over the internet. Well, sure it does. So I mean, I mean, have you seen anything like that? Does it seem like it's more of a like suck when, when you're using that versus like a free version? I or something actually like that? don't play games on my Android. I play all my games on my iPod Touch. Um, because my battery life on the droid isn't great to begin with. So okay. I'm on, I have Twitter on it. Um, I use Tweetcaster, but I don't have any games on my phone. What about you, Josh? I have tons of games on my phone. And, and do, do you notice any more of a suck from <laughs> of <course>. ad-based ones? <laughs> well, it's not any different from ad-based and non-ad-based. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just... Either you're playing a game and your battery's dying, or you're not playing a game and your battery lives. Mm-hmm. It's a standard phone rule. The more you use it, the more quicker it's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that how that works? Thanks I for mean, clearing that up for us. <laughs> and here, here you have it on the awesome cast, that that's yes. the reason why that happens. There you go. All right, what else we got here, Missy? 
Well, uh, one of my favorite things is that uh, Xbox Live update. I can now watch HBO on my Xbox. Screw HBO! <laughs> Screw Xbox! <laughs> Go Comcast! Well, I, I don't have Comcast. Sucks to be you. And <laughs> the, <laughs> this is why Xbox Live updates adds HBO, Comcast, Xfinity, MLB.TV. Mm-hmm. Um, we do a lot of our television watching via Hulu and what's the other one that I don't usually watch? Netflix? That would be the one, yes. Um, so this actually gives us a lot more options. And Sorg was really excited because of some of the options for the HBO series that we And, and to, to be fair, yeah, we don't have cable. If you don't have cable, you're not getting HBO Go. Unless you happen to have a friend that has HBO and doesn't use their on-demand. Uh, which, which, which is a possibility. Which I really don't know. What keeps people from doing that? And I guess we'll find out. What, well, with, uh, with Comcast, they announced that it's not going to use any of your data plan for your and internet. And that's the other interesting with it. So because uh, they're able to detect that it's going to a house mm-hmm. that has Comcast service. So it's acting as if it's another cable box. Now, this is... well. This 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 is this is the the fun part here because anybody else that reads this story say okay this data does not count to your cap which uh, for those who don't know you have like a two hundred and fifty gigabyte cap per month on right Comcast, it, I mean Internet, if you're going course. through that so, then you're running a pirate you do you do a lot but basement. you do a lot of Netflix you never beat that cap right no I could never beat that cap off of Netflix okay so well, the that's only good. place I could beat the cap on using Netflix was my phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to use 250 gigs whole worth five of gigs. Yeah, I'm not going to use 250 gigs worth of data on my my internet service. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just not going to happen. And plus, you still have TV, so you're watching a lot of that too. Right. You're not like us where we're exclusively watching stuff online. Right. Um, but then the question comes up: Is this net neutrality violation? If, if they're not counting that towards it because they're providing a service and 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 prioritizing data. But then again, what's the difference between that? And uh, I know when we had Fios TV, uh, we had issues with the on-demand, which is also served over the internet, over Fios. They divide up the line, well, supposedly. Even even differently. I mean, how is that different than any other loyalty program? One of the other things that I had uh, bookmarked for a thing was the at t loyalty program. Mm-hmm. You know, essentially, these businesses are trying to figure out how to keep people with them, mm. uh, a lot of people are making the jump from Comcast, for instance. Uh, for this area, they're going to be going to you know Verizon FiOS. They're going to be going to whatever we're doing, which is um, you know not having either of the above and, and going through online services. Well, I think uh, the, 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 more, not more, not so much the loyalty programs. I, I see where you're going with that, but one of the issue is the net neutrality stuff, which has been going through the FCC. There's been a lot of debate over it. Uh, they're worried about package sh- shaping. Like, if, if, if uh, basically the idea is, if Comcast is prioritizing their own service, well, what's to keep them from saying, okay, we're going to slow down Netflix service so it's worse, So you, so you, since they're a competitor. And, and that's well, what, as long as that's what I was trying that, to... They're not violating any rules. So as long as they're prioritizing their stuff and not deprioritizing right. anything else, which supposedly, aren't they... I, correct me, were they, weren't they supposedly doing this also with BitTorrent? That's they different. were deprioritizing BitTorrent. Yeah, yes, that, and that's, that's, that's where point. the question comes up. Because, well, BitTorrent by itself is not, you know, the BitTorrent, the technology, is not a pirating factor. It, it, right. Yes, but the most common use of BitTorrent is pirating. But there are plenty of legitimate services that do use BitTorrent. Right. So why should they have to suffer? Because... Don't use BitTorrent. <laughs> don't use bit. Don't use bit torn. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. it's the same. I mean, if you want to bring it to a much larger argument, it's the same argument that people have over gun control. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll say that gun laws are too strict because gun laws have the assumption that every gun is like it, because it's capable of killing someone. It will be at some point be used to kill someone. Kind of like kind of like to bring it back to a tech side of it. it it's <laughs> kind of like in, in Canada where there's actually a tax on every recordable media they have up there uh, because they just presume you're gonna. Right, yeah, it's Bird presuming a worst it. case scenario. So, yeah, and, and so you go to Canada, you you, you have that tax. Right. Mm-hmm. Are you mad at them because they, they're taxing everything? Yeah, it's kind of a it, it's kind of a dick move by the government there. It's it's, it's a record labels getting in and, and, and blame making the a people law. that uh, what's the word I'm using abused the system mm-hmm. and not the rules put in place for the system. 
That's what you have to do. BitTorrent is a perfectly legit system. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the majority of people are abusing that service to do something illegal. Or what's considered illegal. So... So there's a few people that ruin it for everybody. Right. And that's a few unfortunately... bad apples spoil the bunch. And, and plus all, you have that's the how movie it's always been. And plus you have the movie and the record industries uh, uh, trumping up the charges as well about how much this actually damages them. And uh, especially Comcast, they own several entities that produces now Comcast that part of the cares. Yeah, Comcast, yeah, Comcast, yeah. Comcast used to not care about stuff like that. Yeah. Well, but they always they always want to pay attention to stuff like that because they want to make the it affects their movie bottom line. They want to affect the, the movie make the movie industries happy so that they continue to get the good content like HBO that doesn't allow you to get it unless you have a cable subscription. You know, stuff like that because if they lost HBO, they lost a huge reason for people to still be tethered to a cable. Well, and that was one of the big things is that I know that when we finally did decide to give up cable, mm -hmm. uh there were, there were a few different services like that that we wound up getting rid of mm -hmm. that we can't pick up anywhere else. Yeah. So when they were talking about having Like this, HBO, like Cinemax, exactly. like Showtime. So I, I know that this is one of the things that you've been looking at for a while <sighs> since they mentioned that they were going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can't remember now the, the name of the show that you were excited about coming to it that you even texted me about earlier today. Game of Thrones. That would be the one. Because <laughs> I keep hearing about it, but I've had no option to see it. I, it, it, it you know, it, I don't think I don't think you can get it. Can you get it on iTunes now? BitTorrent. I could, yep. or Amazon I could has just, it. Or I could just BitTorrent it. Or I could pay $50 for the DVD set or, or something like that. Or I can toss a few bucks to a friend that has HBO and watch it on my Xbox. Well, that, can't you use uh, HBO Go to get that? Uh, you have no. You have to have a cable subscription in order to use cable uh, HBO Go. Oh, okay. right, right, right. And okay. thankfully, I have friends. But Amazon Video has it. You're a Prime member. It's not part of Prime, is it? You get a discount. I don't think not for not for the live the streaming stuff like that. You get whatever is considered Prime Instant, which is their the, the unlimited stuff, and then that's it's still an option. You still Sir Hutchon is right on that's this. What? <laughs> <laughs> She said I looked into right. it. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Right. Uh, but even if, as far as that, that you know, let's say uh, season two comes up, still don't have the option until about a year out. So maybe you shouldn't have cut the cord. <laughs> okay, Josh. I don't know. I'm cable free and have been for seven years, and I don't miss it. I'm a big fan of my Roku box. Yeah, that's the other thing. You guys are big Roku users. Don't you yeah. watch this show on there? Uh, Brian does. Yeah. I mean, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean and that's become a good option i mean i mean that's you know that pretty much just lives in your living room right it does and the new one is tiny mm -hmm. brian actually bought the original box without consulting me and said by the way this thing is going to show up and i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> that that tends to be the way that things happen around here so is like we're doing this this is this and, way and, and then... the best thing is oh i don't oh netflix doesn't watch this right so my mom has a netflix account but she's all old school and i actually pay for her netflix account so she gets the three discs at a time or whatever and then i tap in to the streaming portion of her account because she doesn't so it works out for everybody. It makes everybody happy. <laughs> Everybody's exactly. happy. And I'm paying the bill anyway, so I figure I should access it. Yeah, there you go. That's how that works, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think there was there was a little bit of debate over something like that too. Like don't, they were like, "Don't share your Netflix with your friends," and, and, and if you well, it's technically I, not being shared if I'm paying the bill. No, no, no. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, there's no. I don't think there's any problem with that per se. But like, and I always wondered how much would they, how would they tell? Because as it is, like, I've used my Netflix. I used it on my lunch breaks at work, uh, at other people's houses. You know, so at what point do they start saying, "Okay, you, you're not using this like a regular person"? There's got to be several of you. You know. Uh, or, or you're passing out. Or something. I don't know. Unless they you're look at what movies are watched via disc and what is downloaded um, streaming, because I can tell you that is probably vastly different. 
<laughs> well, it changes. It changes enough when when my when my father in law was living was living here with us, and he would he would go into the Netflix and say, "Hey, here's our movies," and he would watch all this crazy stuff from the '80s, and then all my top ten would be insane. Or or there's a weekend where Missy was watching with the girls, and once once again, my recommendations are very sappy. <laughs> I I don't want to watch Sixteen Candles. Sorry, um, it's a classic. I know it's a classic. Thank you. <laughs> but anyways, um, I, I don't know. It's uh, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Yeah, I think uh, the Xfinity thing. I think it fi- falls in the same line like FiOS with their on demand, and they're already doing it with their on demand and everything. So uh, they, they might be just connecting uh, somewhere different. I wonder, Chachi, and maybe you can test this as you go here. I wonder if you're uh, streaming on your Xfinity, if it's supposedly operating like a cable box, does it affect your performance otherwhere on the network? So it, it shouldn't if it's do, if it's operating the way that they're saying it is. So I, I would just be curious to see if that does happen, because you know obviously we st- we start seeing a hit if someone you know we'd have a problem down here if somebody started hitting up some Hulu Plus or something upstairs probably on like two TVs or something. So um, so yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see where that goes. In the meantime, I'm going to catch up on my Game of Thrones. Sorry, um, I was distracted by Warcraft. <laughs> Warcraft? Is it is it the panda thing? Yeah. Weird. They have pandas. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm seeing a lot of Facebook activity on our uh, on our list this week, Missy. Hey, I like Facebook. I'm sorry. Oh, I hate Facebook. <laughs> no, actually, I I do kind of uh, Facebook. Facebook and I have a love-hate relationship. Like, I, I just sometimes don't know what to do with it, and sometimes it puts me, no offense to any of my family who might be listening to this, uh, puts me in touch with my family a little bit more often than I want to be. <laughs> like, I have people commenting on different things and, and stories showing up on my feed that I'm like, yeah, I do I've care. blocked half my family. No, yeah, I'm not friends with any family members. No, I, I, I sent out a post that said, I do not play games on Facebook, therefore don't invite me to play games on Facebook. Yeah. The only people that still invited me to play games on Facebook were my family members. Therefore, they're gone. Well, the, one of the interesting stories that we do have linked as far as the Facebook thing is concerned is uh, it, it comes to us gone. from Taiwan. Uh, a woman kills herself while on Facebook. Uh, Did she use Skype video? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think she used Skype video, but she was using her facebook chat and she was chatting with some of her friends and she was talking about different things along the way actually live chatting with her friends on facebook and nobody did anything about it so she you know pretty much had this stuffed animal and a couple of these stuffed animals in a room with a charcoal barbecue sitting next to them and uh one friend identified as such and such said, be calm, open the window, put out the charcoal fire, please, I beg you. Um, you know, she, she responded back, the fumes are suffocating, they fill my eyes with tears, don't write me anymore. Um, they tried to talk to her to get her to stop, but none of them called the police or any sort of, like, officials that would, that would come in and help. Well, I wonder, is it a case that was everybody, is everybody in Taiwan in this case? Or maybe... You know, uh, maybe there's a there was some kind of disconnect there. Maybe people didn't believe her. Um, it doesn't. I don't know the art, the article doesn't necessarily go into it, but again, it's one of those things that it's interesting that Facebook you can contact and touch so many people with Facebook, mm-hmm. and I mean these people are telling her, you know, don't do this. They're they're trying to be supportive as far as that's concerned. But yet, not one of them thought to call the police, despite the fact that they realized what was going on and they saw what was going on with her texts, mm. w- with her messaging and stuff. It's just kind of sad. I mean, if, if you look at it, that <clears throat> here it is, Facebook is bringing these people together, and then nobody's doing anything. Yeah, but just, just like with anything, I mean, it's just another technology people are going to find interesting ways to abuse, too, so... Yeah, I mean, it's you're, you're, you're there's always it. that story. It's been around since like IRC chat and news groups and everything it happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, it, 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 the ac- the access like seems to trump up anything else. Like I've been commenting this week about. I'm always amazed when I go home and then we see my nephew and how much it seems that Facebook uh, 
puts an accent on the high school gossip. Well, Facebook but, even. But, but then it's also nice because then her his mother can kind of knows what everything that's going on because it's all pretty much on Facebook and she knows enough to use it. Well, look look at these bullying situations where, you know, they, they've tried to have lawsuits against Facebook because they didn't stop bullying online through the Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there was that one mom who uh, she was she had created an account and she was essentially portraying herself as a teenager. Mm -hmm. And then she just said belittling things to, to this girl that her daughter knew. And the girl wound up committing suicide. Mm -hmm. The family sued. Because and they sued Facebook. I'm pretty sure they sued Facebook. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, yeah, so that's like that's like suing the gunmaker for for somebody getting shot. Yeah. At that point, you know, I, it's 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 people using it in in horrible ways like this, and uh, I mean, it, it's just an extension of of human nature to begin with. All sides of it, good and bad. Unfortunately, well, I understand this, but what I'm saying is, with with the availability of things like Facebook, mm -hmm. how do you stop that sort of stuff within? You don't. I mean, really, I think the only thing is education. Like, I think you I think, have to stop the person. You can't yeah, stop the person. Quiet. Yeah, I mean, it's go and wiggle, wiggle it, wiggle it, and it should come back because that's wiggle, what I did. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 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 <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Rob. Oof. I, I didn't say it. Okay, okay I, it. yeah, it came back. We're, we're good. We're good. We're don't bother. Okay. We wiggled it. I don't think I was saying anything. Wrong. Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, um. And the other thing, uh, here's the other, just to shift gears, uh, um, I, I think you put this on here, this is one I want to talk about too. Uh, uh, yes, that's where I was headed next. <laughs> companies are asking you to fork over your logon for Facebook. I'd delete Facebook before I did that. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. They can have it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> here's, here's my thing. Why? Why would they think that that would even be? A this is something that um, uh, where was it? It was in Montana. There was a city that did this in Montana, like two years ago, probably exactly two years ago. Where if you wanted to work in one of their government offices, you were required to hand over not just like your Facebook, but you had to give them the username and password to all of your social media accounts, and they thought it was totally okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, what Could kind, you wait, just wait, wait, tell what, them you didn't have any? I say, what kind of company was this? You know, um, I mean, I can uh, supposedly, uh, you know, some, yeah, some, some like <laughs> government jobs maybe want to do this or something, but it still doesn't seem right in the long run. I mean, like what people or I guess like companies forget about in these situations is that there's so many easy like similes and metaphors you can bounce around. They think like, well, it's new technology. So we can apply these special rules. No, 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 no. Hang on. Let's just make it really simple. You want my Facebook login? That's basically saying that you want to read my mail for a month. Yeah. You want yeah. to like receive my mail and read it for a month, which is a federal crime for a reason. So let's just not do that. And and, and, and people have, have talked about this as like rifling through your house to to, yeah, to get yeah, to exactly. a job. You know, Here's, they receive all your you phone can, calls, all your mail, yeah. and like see everything you do and just stalk you for a month. If I'm applying to work at the CIA or the FBI, sure, that makes sense. Otherwise, absolutely not. I, it, it's one thing to like, you know, look at somebody's friend profile. Um, you know, there some some companies I think require you to be a friend so they can see your profile or something like that. And, uh, to some degree, I understand that. And working in the legal profession, uh, I understand that. Um, We've used Facebook for finding out information about. I used to use MySpace. Yeah, MySpace before, <clears throat> before that. That uh, pretty much look to see that people are doing what they say they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, if, if somebody claims that they have you know this, this massive injury that they can't do things with and that it's crippled their lifestyle, yet they're on Facebook um, surfing in Mexico, that's not going to be very believable. Uh, you know, for for all intents and purposes, that's what we used it for. Mm -hmm. That doesn't and, mean and that I would necessarily ask anybody to sign over. Yeah, that and, and that's stuff that these people will put public. <laughs> and, exactly, and that's, know, maybe, I mean, that's your own stupidity for me. Yeah, exactly, public, exactly. Yeah, because people don't think about what they're putting out there on Facebook. Yeah, it, they don't. They don't think about it like they're shouting this at a party. But they could be the same people that could shout stupid stuff at a party. You know, so it's it's just part of their personality that they would do something like this. Uh, but. Yeah, to be able to go in there because I mean, God, jeez, you, you give over your password, it, you know, 
they could do anything with that account. They could pers- impersonate you. They could change your password. They can change and, and your that, details. That, I guess, was my question when I was reading through the thing is, as an employer, why would... Seriously, I mean, what would you be doing? Would you be making sure that employees aren't doing that mm-hmm. sort of stuff online? Block it. Uh, I know that my office, we can't get on Facebook. We can't get on any sort of uh, social media websites at work because they have everything locked down because of productivity. Um I, I just don't understand where that would even be an option. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, like, I, I know I've seen tweets. I think I think it was Carmen that tweeted this week. Says if somebody asks for your Facebook password, go and tell somebody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, go tell an adult. Yes, <laughs> it's, I need it's, an adult. I need an adult. I mean, I mean, really, it's yeah. Don't do that. Don't don't give any service, whether it be that or MySpace or whatever's next. You know, or your Twitter account or your LinkedIn. I mean, I don't even know. log into Twitter and Facebook from my work computer. No. Yeah. So I don't know. It's it, this is one of the most oddball things that came out of the news cycle. Was. And I'm sure it's been really blown out of proportion from whatever really happened. But it's making people question. They're like, "Wow, I wouldn't, or I shouldn't, or should I?" You know, and some people probably seriously have those questions. Like, is that something that's okay? Am I legally responsible for that? They're doing a background check anyways, and they get all that information off your social security number. Well, so what's the make, you know, difference between that? I, I, that that kind of pushes us into one of the other articles that, that I had linked um, about the U.S. regulators push for online do not track system. Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever you're online, whatever you're doing... Um, you know, the, the, the tracking thing is to essentially market and, and track information. Um, U.S. regulators are pressuring Internet companies to put in place by the end of the year a do not track system that would give consumers more control over their personal data online in a report released on Monday that uh, privacy advocates dismissed as too soft. Um, the FTC is essentially looking at coming down on the, heavily on the industry to see what they can do as far as privacy legislation is concerned. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rob, this seems like something that might be uh, in, in your wheelhouse here. Have you been following this kind of stuff? I know it's been going on for a while. It's, I mean, it, it's going to be a, a tug of war for a while before any of this settles down. And I don't even know if it's ever going to settle down because, like, for the dead horse that we've pulled out of the barn and beaten to death 15 times, it's getting really kind of messy over here. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> like, it's it's that, you know, there are people who are, who are, like, really terrified to have any of their information online. There's actually... Uh, if I can find it real quick, there was a, a tweet that uh, Merlin Mann posted the other day. Oh, which I saw those. Really wraps up all of my feelings about people who are terrified about having their information shared online. And he said, uh, every day you hand your credit card to a random 22-year-old so-and-so who happens to be a barrister or a waiter. But hey, booga booga internet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of my feeling on it I, and again I, I think I've made the labor this point a few times where my grandfather is like you know I'm, I am I won't buy anything online I'm afraid to and I'm like what's the difference between that and your your credit card over to the, the to the lady at the ground round that walks away with it you know uh, I mean your credit card number is out there I mean if they can get to the banks and get these you know <laughs> that's not safe I mean really, just what do it comes what you down can. to is that you, you haven't had privacy you've no, never had privacy no never but now it's being sensationalized, so everybody wants privacy. People are realizing people are realizing that Facebook is trying to make money off of them, and they're starting to worry because they see more and more ads. Uh, or or Google, they say, "Why is Gmail free?" It's like those. Remember those ads you've been ignoring, and if you look at them, they're kind of really contextually close to what you're probably interested in. That's how they're making money. Uh, you know, nothing's really Ooh. free here. So, uh, and people are kind of waking up to that and starting to worry about it. And it gets on the five o'clock news as a scare story. And everybody wants to leave their Facebook account. And, and, right. and, and I mean, there is, you know, no, there is a certain Facebook level of control that you should have over your privacy. Every system should be an opt in system, not an opt out system when it yeah. comes to sharing personal data. But isn't, uh, it, isn't it kind of an opt in because you signed up for the service? Yeah, that is actually one of the things if you read that. Yeah, in terms if of you, service. as long as it's in the terms of service and yada, yada, yada. But as far as like all the faux pas that Google Wave had and Facebook had, where they just opted you into everything off I of think that. Buzz, Buzz, you're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Buzz. Because nobody, uh, nobody used Wave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's really like, you know, there are a handful of things that need to be locked down. But it's most yeah. of this is just sen- sensationalized media 
blowing the privacy thing completely out of control while everybody is still trying to figure out so many other things about, you know, it's all exponential. It's all Moore's Law. We're sharing such an incredible amount of data. I was looking at a statistic the other day about the amount of data that was created in the year 2011 alone compared to every <laughs> single year before it. And it was something like 11,000 times, like percent, the amount of data was produced in the last year alone than all of the years before it put together. Yeah, I believe it. Like, it's no joke that things are cut, are blowing up at this crazy level. And there's no way we can wrap our head around all these little legislative problems at the same time. Just everything is broken right now. <laughs> and everybody's very angry. <laughs> and it's going too fast for anybody to fix it, of course. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. I sent uh, a YouTube video to the Awesome Cast Twitter account. Okay. And it's funny, and you should play it. On, on the air? Yes. Okay, I'll work right on that. Now. Right now. Uh, right now. Like, yes. I just drop everything and do this right yes. now. I don't even have that on my thing. I've got a... Uh, What's that? Is this no, SourceFed? Are you giving me another SourceFed? No, this is a Chromebook commercial. A Chromebook commercial? Yeah. Like, on the TV? It was on YouTube. I was no, going... Wait, that's us. I was heading to watch some SourceFed because I found myself not really... Being interested in new topics being discussed. <laughs> thanks, <for some. laughs> thanks, Josh. Thanks a lot. Hey, you made me say it. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, plus <laughs> uh, the women are here controlling things. I, I'm not needed. <laughs> I've trained him well. Let the women uh, do good their job. thing. Yay! Let the women do their thing. Huh? Chris, we haven't heard from you. Yeah. What do you have to talk about, Chris? They they <laughs> fought. They fought for rights. Let them. I I, I know that. <laughs> Rob Everyone has talked hurt. about what I wanted to talk about. Oh. I could talk about my new camera bag again, but um, I've, I get the impression that the boys aren't interested in me in bags. We don't so. care about the boys today, though. This is how you teach grandma how to use a Chromebook. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to teach grandma how to use a Chromebook. Okay. That's, smarty pants. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I was actually, uh, to totally spin this out of the Google territory, uh, I was talking to somebody the other day about um, they need they wanted a new laptop. Yeah. And uh, they they wanted the, like, the uh, objective opinion of, like, why why do Macs succeed where PCs fail and, like, what the difference is. And I, when I was talking about usability, I mentioned that one of the most groundbreaking things that ever come out of Apple was when the iPad came out. And there was a lot of media about like the the infant using the iPad, the cat mm-hmm. and the dog using the iPad, and the like ninety eight year old woman who could use the iPad just because it was that easy. So, like, was kind of there was actually a video about like a elephant using a Samsung Note. I saw today. Uh, I, I, I figured this. this way. I, don't, I don't know if it was real or not. My my father is the most technologically defunct person on the face of this earth. <laughs> he could use an iPad though. He can. Yes, we, we made him use an iPad. He used the iPad as the Register at the Cafe. Mm-hmm. And he even has an iPhone at this point because he was using it. And, and he fought that tooth and nail. He, he did. He fought it tooth and nail. And once we actually had him using it, he dropped it in a bucket of water. <laughs> <laughs> he wound up uh, totally frying it and then was upset because it would take two days for me to get another one in. Mm-hmm. He, he just couldn't believe that. He had this technology available to him that he could use, and what? then it was just gone. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it, it, I think it opens up a lot of a lot of things. Well, um, one of the nice things that that I've noticed that they've been doing more recently is sometimes it's difficult for my parents to take time to take a phone call because they're taking care of my grandmother. They're you know doing whatever they're doing, but I will occasionally get iMessages. Your dad texts me more than I would expect. Yeah, that throws expect me. Expect the word you were looking for there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, your dad texts me. I think more than my dad. So yeah, it's it's kind of weird because a year ago he wouldn't have been texting anybody. Nope. And nope. now because he has his iPhone and it's just so easy to do, he texts everybody. Yep. Oh, yep. he doesn't text me. I feel left out. Does he have your number? No. That'll and he change. Text you. <laughs> <laughs> but. But yeah, and that that accessibility I think is really important, and especially stuff like you know, I mean, the iPads even a little cheaper now with four hundred. I, I still think the Kindle is something, you know, uh, that people can 
use as an alternative that I can't afford an Kindle. iPad. You have, you, have a, you have a Kindle Fire? I don't have a Fire. I have the regular Kindle, but because I travel so much, um, it's nice because I love to read and I still love real books and I still buy real books and I love the way they smell. But when I travel, <laughs> so, it's a so lot easier you know, to throw get, one Kindle in my bag. You know than what the answer three is? Three or four books. You know what the answer is? Is they put a little scratch and sniff. Sniff <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> I, I asked Brian if if she's having a bad day, does he just take her to the bookstore to smell books? I love books. <laughs> Oh, I love books. <laughs> so we get a scratch and sniff on our Kindle, and we'll be really we'll fine. Chris, you've got a Kindle Fire, and I've been meaning to ask you how you, how how are you liking that? I am loving and there it. There it is. And we're talking about ease of use. Um, I've got it right here. Um, my grandmother wanted to read some news article in the Post Gazette, and very easily pulled it up. She's scrolling through. She's zooming in. She's zooming out, and. You know, she she still has a rotary phone in her house to put that in perspective. <laughs> so so we down it's here. Super easy to use. Angry Birds is fantastic. The only downside is that draw something is not yet available on the Kindle Fire. Yet. Yet. <laughs> yet, yet. And it's killing me because I have to do it on my tiny little iPod touch. I know it's hard on the iPod touch. I'm I haven't signed into it on this thing yet, but I, I think I might. <laughs> this thing being the iPad that Sorg let me play with. Jen, I drew you a picture while I was sitting here earlier. Oh, well, so you now have I have to go you. check it. All right, I'll go check. Let me just <laughs> figure this thing out. Multitasking. I will. So let me see. There you go. There you go. So, um... Oh, it's so big and pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Rob save us here. <laughs> oh, I'm what? not on TV anymore. Oh, oh there, there you go. <laughs> I have to sign Sorg out so I can get to my drawings. I feel bad for the people that or- play with me because I am awful. <laughs> <laughs> Chachi's pretty bad. Uh, what? My Aww. mother-in-law is even more awful than I am. What am I bad but- at? Uh, draw, something. draw something. Oh, I am horrible at drawing things. <laughs> Are you still just randomly drawing penises? No, I never actually started that. Oh, I started no, that. you drew me one. Well, it, the word was pee. Yes. <laughs> I had to draw a penis. Well, it was a little stick figure to. penis. Yes, the game asked me to draw a penis, and I threw in balls for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> the I did draw Chachi a penis, actually. She did. The word was balls. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just ball, actually. Oh, you know, there's yeah. sounds and everything. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, she's discovering for the first time. Then, like, you know, I, you know, I got to throw this out there. I'm going to call you out, Missy, because you've been Uh-oh. playing Draw Something on your iPhone with a stylus. <gasps> Cheating. Hey, I bought a stylus just for playing Draw Something. The fun thing is, is that I had the stylus for the cafe for the for the for people to sign, uh-huh. and I was like. I'm not using it anymore for that, so I will use it for draw something. There's a use for this. <laughs> there is a use for this. I'm I'm getting my money's worth out of this. Oh, you have, you have needed to have it for the the uh, booth at the DVDs booth yes. too. So that that's handy. Yes. So I, I have it handy. And I completely forgot I'm wearing beads. <laughs> I was going to ask Why about. Why am those? I wearing beads again? Because I put them okay, on you. Okay. Okay. So going back to style styli styluses. What's the plural of stylus? Styli, I think. Sure. Styli. Okay. Going back to Stylite, will my old, like, handspring Palm Pilot stylus work on my iPod Touch, do we think? I'm pretty sure that's a different screen. Yeah, that's a different yeah. screen. Yeah, Darn it's different. It has to be a, because the, uh, the touch screen on most Android devices and iPhones and iPads is uh, capacitive touch, meaning that it has to have a... Uh, it kind of has to be like uh, It has to be conducted tip. with you and your body and your phone. And your oh, man. other stylus is made of plastic. So. Like the conductive gloves I got for Christmas. Yeah, it uses a very specific, yeah, a very specific uh, conductive thread that is actually like really hard to work with because it has to be woven extremely densely to yeah. work. Yeah. But that's the secret to all of these styluses. This is very disappointing. And by the way, uh, styli, S-T-Y-L-I, and styluses, S-T-Y-L-U-S-E-S, for both acceptable. Oh, Sonic and you. Sonic in the chat also claims that he also uh, bought a stylus. So, Fantastic. So so there you go. Don't tell Steve Jobs he'd be rolling in his grave <laughs> if uh, he found out about all your styli out there. Or so, styluses, both acceptable. Styli is, 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 is 
So this is what we've learned today on, on the Awesome Cast. So what's the plural of Lexus then? Because I think it's Lexi. But, you know, Brian and I. I'd say it's Lexuses. <laughs> but I think Lexi sounds better. I agree with that. It sounds much more classier because it is a luxury brand. But uh I think it is Lexus's. In any case I can't have one. Either way, either way, if you're in, if you're in a position that you have more than one Lexus to have to ask that question, I think that's the least I think you can buy the answer. I just got oh, as long as we're talking technology, I have to say I just got a brand new Ford Edge that has the sync technology. And it is phenomenal. I, I hear a lot about this. It, I love it. So Love it. So what, what do you like about it? I press a button and I say, call Brian blah, blah, blah. And it this voice comes on and it says, calling Brian blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Does it actually call him Brian blah, blah, blah? Well, I didn't know if you wanted me to say his last name on the internet or not. So um, anyway, it's great. And then it, it comes through my speakers. And then if somebody calls me... Mm-hmm. It shuts off my music, and um, I can decide whether to answer or not. And all the buttons are on my steering wheel, mm-hmm. um, which is great. So I and you can pair two phones up to it. So, but one is only active at a time. So I have both a BlackBerry and a Droid. So during the week, I keep my BlackBerry paired up to it, and then on the weekends, I keep my Droid paired up to it. And this is what I found: it's which, your weekend phone, which is odd. With the BlackBerry, it downloads my contacts, and with the Droid, I can't get it to download my contacts. But it will read my text messages on the Droid and not my text messages on the BlackBerry. So if anybody out there at Ford can answer that for me, I'm sure they listen to the show. (laughs) But Um, I have to say, from especially I'm on the road a lot, and it is it's such an easy way to get caught up on phone conversations and not be distracted at all while I'm driving. Except for the fact that you're talking on the phone. Well, yeah, but people do that anyway. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of good things about it because the podcasts I listen to apparently are all sponsored by Ford. Um, but but it really does sound it's like Microsoft or something, isn't it? Like it is. It does it. Yes. Yeah. Nobody it's... has complained to me about the sound quality, and I had prior to this, I had a Jawbone Bluetooth. Yeah. And I hated it. Yeah. It was too. Those, there's too much those... background noise. People complain they couldn't hear. Yeah, those things are usually pretty iffy from what I can tell. Yeah, so I have to say I'm I'm quite happy. I've only had my car for about a month, um, but I'm quite happy with the Ford Sync. Excellent. And happy that I don't have to pay for gas. <laughs> what? Oh, it's a company car, so oh, I don't okay. have to pay for gas. <laughs> well, that's I was going to say, it comes with free gas. That's awesome. well, <laughs> well, my particular one does, you yes. You have the best car ever. <laughs> Could so. anybody tell me what this might be? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Jen, I'm having the same problem with yours. <laughs> oh, really? Seriously, you don't know what that is? Not it's with a, the letters provided. It's a penis. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hospital. It, you, you can't know, spell it's hospital not. with letters. It's first aid. It's first aid. It's a, oh. it's a church. It's a first aid kit. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was like the An positive ambulance. end of a battery I, or a hospital. Dr. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we created a new podcast concept here. This um, on the no, first oh, this is a not, Bible. No, wait, yes. My mother-in-law, let me tell you. It said, uh, <laughs> on that <laughs> point, uh, I think it's a good time to wrap in here. <laughs> All right, guys, go around. Uh, uh, well, first, here, let's go to the couch. Uh, thank you, Jen, for joining us. You're very welcome. <laughs> do you have anything for people to check out? What you have a blog? I do have a blog, and I've been better about blogging. Um, but Harvey, the most awesome rabbit in the whole wide world, um, he updates his pictures quite frequently, and he has his own Flickr. Um, yeah, my blog is chocolateshoesnat.com. Um, and it's really girly most of the time. So, um, you know, I'm just putting that out there. Although there's no pink. Boo. But as you might guess, I talk about chocolate and shoes. Yay. And Harvey, of course. The most awesome rabbit in the whole wide world. Excellent. Go check that out. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, hey, look at... Oh, that was our cooking incident. Bacon died there, folks. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Turkey bacon was only was the only casualty. Yes. But oh, in our alarm system. No, um, isn't that true? We tested the alarm system. Yeah, we tested the alarm system, which we use front point, which is all technology based. Look at us, how techie we are. You are techie. <laughs> um, what is this us? 
Fight, <laughs> and nail to bring technology. Yeah, but I saved home. us money by um, dragging my feet on that alarm system. But anyway, um, yeah, they called right away <laughs> when the smoke detector went off. <laughs> Listen, I don't really call it a casualty if it was just turkey bacon. Turkey bacon is real bacon. No, no, no pig, it's not. Pig is real the bacon. The internet says it is because I had to look it up to convince somebody else. No, turkey bacon. <laughs> turkey bacon is imitation bacon made from turkeys. Therefore, it's not real bacon. And bacon, by definition, has to come from a pig. Yes. Not according to Wikipedia. Wikipedia. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Just check Wikipedia. See to check. Wikipedia Britannica. Well, let's go. I'm going to edit that on Wikipedia right now to fix it. The check. first line of the Wikipedia definition is bacon is a cured meat prepared from a pig. Yeah, but if you read further, it says it can also come from a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Missy, what do you got going on? Um, wedding cakes. Yay! And birthday cakes. And all the fun jazz. Which I still have to blog about those. Yeah, too. you'll be blogging about it. Yeah. You'll be blogging about <laughs> with, it over with pictures. at. Uh, oh, oh, I can't bring the site up because it's at the same place Chachi's site is. <laughs> <laughs> but that site is. Apparently dead. <laughs> <laughs> Chachi's site killed your site. Chachi? Yes. Uh -oh. Rob! <laughs> Shake my fist, you Rob! Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> that uh, would be cafesolstice.com. Oh, it really doesn't say it's fake bacon. Apparently down at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to get a cash coffee for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, otherwise, uh, you, you can also check out my, my Twitter feed, count. uh, Rebellious oh. Flaw. I do have some pictures that I've, I've put up through there. Some conversation going back and forth about those. Uh, some other random stuff. Yay! Christina Unger! She is not a friend of Canada. Not today, at least. She's the at, embassy's a little torqued off at me. She's at Chick Chris on Twitter. What? It's a long story that I shouldn't get into right now. <laughs> okay, but what, what, you got anything uh, you got going on online? You want um, to yeah, I just started a photo blog um, in an effort to uh, actually use my camera for non-work related uh, things. So I'm going to start a 52 week project beginning in April. So this weekend, um, it's at camerable.wordpress.com. If you find me on Twitter, it's linked there. So that wordpress.com is it? Bacon. Yes. Hey, wait, is this the same? Did I get the right one here? Is that it? I don't know. No. No. Hold on. You oh, went to oh, Canada. No, I went to an ad. I, think. I went to an ad. Way to go, Sorg. Hold on, I'll get it. There, you'll find tulips. Chris, he <laughs> forgot you at the beginning. He clicked past you right now. I'm so there unloved. you go. I found tulips. There Aww. it is. Aww. Oh, wow. My tulips. There's some photos from Chachi and my trip to the zoo. If you scroll back a little bit. Is that right, one picture from Prague. Hey. One picture from the power game that we recently attended. So... Um, basically, I uh, I don't do a very good job with my camera, so I'm I'm working on learning over the next year. Feel free to photo uh, Harvey anytime. Oh, I totally will. There you go. go hey, if you out. could uh, go Wikipedia turkey bacon. I'm drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually have got a. It's basically that tur things no, can be it. such as beef, lamb, chicken, goat, or turkey can be. Uh, prepared, cut, and cured to resemble bacon. But as far as defining bacon, even the USDA defines bacon as the cured belly of a swine carcass. Oh no, I just fixed the Wikipedia page, so it says fake bacon in the first sentence. Oh. It does. Turkey, Turkey bacon, bacon is, is fake, fake bacon. bacon. Usually that prepared. Way. That's fine. Well, I prefer turkey bacon. Unless George, of course, makes me extra crispy bacon. In that case, I eat real bacon. Because he made it good. Chachi, I like that you capitalized fake. It's not just fake. It is fake bacon. It's, it's fake bacon. bacon. I was going to put quotes on it, too, but I didn't. I'm surprised you just didn't make it all caps. So I guess that or would probably... Fake it. It's fake bacon. Let's see, I want to see how long it lasts. I should probably... I should probably... You know what? I'm going to go it's fix gonna it. It's going to last until Jen gets home. <laughs> no. I. You know, I'm really not going to bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now I'm curious to see how long it actually lasts yeah. on there. Well, I assure you it won't be me. Wow. Um, and uh, Chachi, you, you... I have a website if it ever gets fixed. Thanks, Rob. Oh. Wow. Geez. Yeah, no sweat. <laughs> and Rob, downloadable content. <laughs> downloadable content? Yeah, that came up yesterday in the Hangout. 
Okay. Fake bacon. <laughs> what you got going on? Well, you're you're, you're on a rest, thankfully. I am. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> uh, Fantastic. Go, hey, go check out his Wired art, or not your Wired article, but go look for My the, personal Wired look article. Look for the phone booth. Oh, check out last week's episode if you didn't yet, because uh, uh, we had a great talk uh, about everything you did for South by Southwest and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, all that stuff. That was, that was good. That was good stuff. I have a relevant college slash university degree in this, knowledge, in this topic. What, turkey bacon? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not checking it, but it's an option. <laughs> I'm a turkey bacon. I am an expert in all things bacon. turkey bacon. Uh, and of course, hey, I'm over. I got. I'm blogging stuff at Sorgatron.com. Uh, Is as, your site down? That's not me. No, that site's. Down. Where, where am I? There I am. Um, <laughs> yes, and also check out everything going on at SorgatronMedia.com. All the shows and everything. Unsung just came up. Uh, and actually, there's a tech angle on Unsung this week. Uh, we we looked at a lot of. Um, Technology for ALS. Uh, if you go over to youtube.com slash Sorgatron Media, there's a demonstration of a head mouse. Okay. And uh, somebody wants to build no, an eye mouse this. that goes in your glasses that apparently you can build for $50. So I it that might be a side project. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, go check that out. Uh, all those YouTubes are over at uh, Sorgatron, I'm sorry, youtube.com slash Sorgatron Media for all the uncuts uh, or pittsburghonvideo.org. And. Uh, <laughs> And go check that out. Uh, so, on that, hey, like I said, uh, if you want to join this craziness live, we're here every week at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, check us out at awesomecast.com. Contact at awesomecast.com. Uh, tweet us at awesomecast. And, uh, of course, subscribe to us on your iTunes, YouTube, uh, Blip TV, Stitcher, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, thank you, our awesome chat room. You've been rocking all night. Uh, you've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.